uh, uh, the, the 65 is a pretty true 65, you know. Uh, it's not the, not the same 65 as on the Nikola. And, you know, the Nikola has the, I have the CX321, so it's a high gyro tire. So, you know, the faster you go, the more stable it gets. And this one, no, I wouldn't say so. Because of the imperfections on the tire, especially now that I'm riding it on the hard mode. I, I just put the clock pads on. I was gonna go and uh, play around on uh... why, why do I always talk next to these roads, man? Why? Oh, look. They're building a new gym here. Awesome, awesome. Very nice, very, very nice. Cool, cool. Now we got some nice, nice slidiness, mixed slidiness here. Cops are coming. Look, I'm wearing green. I'll just blend in. Alright, it's safe. So what's my point, right? What am I trying? Okay, so I was sitting at home, doing nothing, doing nothing. Doing nothing, right? Reading the comments about, uh, about the alley cat race. You know? Man, man, man. Come on. And I was thinking, man, it's been raining now. So it should be out and ni nice and moist out there. And it's Saturday after all. So the day when we, we want to get wet. So I was thinking, should I get the MSX and go practice some burnouts on grass? And then I thought, but hold on, haven't some people been asking, you know, if like the, the EXN could be like the do-it-all wheel, the do-it-all wheel? Well, if it's a do-it-all wheel, then I want to get some torque out of it. And if I want to get some torque out of it, I'm going to need some narrow, some narrower pads. Words, man. Words. So I put the clock pads on there and fiddled and fiddled and thought about shoes, thought about socks, thought about life. And I positioned them too tight, you know, and it was great for, great for jumping. Man, man, if you have to bail, you know. So I got the right one, which is for my dominant one. I got that one on pretty tight. And for my dismounting leg, a bit looser. And uh, I just thought, okay, you know, I'll go find a, a football field with, this, with this, this grass. This grass isn't super slippery. I've, ha I've had better. Uh, but then there was like, there were people there. So I thought, okay, I'll, I'll go see if I can get it up to speed with this config, you know. And while I'm at it, maybe the, the GPS on the GoPro will activate, who knows, lock enough satellites and uh, see if I can match the speed, right? Because when my NIC is doing 64 kilometers an hour, which is what it does at 100% battery and five beeps, which you're never at 100% battery while you're at 64 kilometers an hour. So you'll be at 63 kilometers an hour, like 63.2 kilometers an hour and the top battery as top as you can get. 
unless the wheel overestimates, right? But that's not the true GPS speed. The GPS speed is 60. So if you would track it like with a speedometer or something, you know, a radar gun or something that is more accurate, it would be like 60, 61. So the, the speed is being over-reported. And I've measured this with the EXN, and the EXN seems true to speed. The Sherman is not. The V11 is not. The 16X, some are, some aren't. Nor is the, the, the Tesla also slightly overinflated, and so on. The EXN seems true. The MSP HT series will be true if you put a knobby tire on it because it has a larger diameter. And then per rotation, you will cover more distance, and then it will be true. But it is not true with the 1488. And nor will the, the RS be, either. So I know it's fast. And I know it can, it can take some, some water. And I know it can take some mud, because I got mud all over it and inside it. But can I torque it? Can I twerk it? So I thought, okay, if I'm going to torque it, I need the Clark pads, I need to be nice and tight, I need something a bit slippy and see if I can jump, jump burnout. And I, I got one, I got one, you saw that one, I got one. Uh, it, it's not as easy on the MSX, but you know, it shouldn't be either because the wheel weighs 10 kilos more. That's 22.5 pounds, you know. That's a lot, that's a lot. But yeah, yeah, you can jump it, you can 180 it, you can skate park Scooby Doo it, and you can do some little burnouts, you know. If, if you're a little guy like me, if you're a bigger guy, then who knows? Then the sky's the limit, or maybe you'll overlean the wheel. I sort of, kind of, dippity doo at it yesterday, doing my little miscalculation at the skate park once again. But you know. Uh, I, I would say, I would say that the EXN is a very nice do-it-all wheel. And uh, the most important thing that I needed to do is go fast and do it safely. Because when I hit 66 kilometers an hour, which was my top speed on that bike path, I mean, sure, besides, be me being, besides me being very tight and constrained in the Clark path, actually causing a, a slight wobble when braking because I put the brakes on early. I put the brakes on early. If the brakes are on early, then everything else is on late, but still, you know, when you're riding the clock pads at that speed, you're not really using the front pad anymore. You're moving around them, so you're riding on a footlock. And if you're going to ride a footlock with pads in the way, you might as well ride on a footlock with pads out of the way and get the torque pads. But then you can't do the high torque, low speed stuff with the torque pads, unless you just do it with your feet and without the pads. So I figure, you know, I'll, I'll meet myself somewhere in the middle, fiddle around with the Clark pads today and see about the, the do-it-all but high-speed config, or otherwise you can do it the other way around. I'm happy with the results, you know, the rest is up to me. I just need to... Need to get swole, man. Need to get swole. Ain't complaining. Ain't complaining.
To break, I squeeze the sides and pull back. Start breaking in the middle, move my way to the back of the pads. So I'll break in the middle and then I'll take the last part of the break. I won't just go throw my ass back, you know. Where, where, take it easy. You don't have to. Take it easy. We're just riding an electric unicycle. Look, look, look a bit relaxed. Got a moped. tire for all its faults. It's a tire that rides very true. I did not bring my glasses so I'm crying now. This is where Elias fell, hitting 50 kilometers an hour on his Tesla T3 and 40% battery just when I told him and lifted it and did a lift test and determined that with that battery level it would cut off idle, no weight at 60 kilometers an hour and I said I would think twice before even trying to hit 50. That would probably be the max that it would do. But you know, the rider dynamics, the racer dynamics. Frederick was there on his RSHS and zippity doo da zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day.
Dumb and Dumber. Like literally standing on the bicycle symbol and looking at me like I just touched his asshole. Fucking hell, man. Come on, touch your anus. Show me on the doll. Show me on the doll where he touched you. Skate park. Let's see if my foot positioning is on point. Dear God, this thing flies up so easy. Dear God, it just flies up so easy. It, it's just like the MSX will sort of like really, it, it'll grunt at you a tiny bit and so on. You know, just like tiny grunt, tiny grunting. You you get feedback from the motor. It's like it sort of tells you, you know, I'm working a bit harder now in here. This one is just like silent. Have you ever had a girlfriend and you slap her ass and she laughs? And you slap her really hard? That's what the EXN feels like. Maybe I should have done a 180. But I don't know if there's water inside the wheel now and in the board. If I do a 180 and I drop the wheel on its side, then water will go up to baby Jesus. Should I buy some snacks? Damn, I looked at myself in the mirror today. I had veins popping out everywhere. I felt like, damn, man. Gotta take it easy on the steroids. Like someone once asked me, <laughs> someone once asked me, I was like, oh wow man, you really look huge. Have you been eating steroids? And I'm like, I didn't know you could eat steroids. But I was like, I, I, I usually do eat low carb. And then if I do a carb load, then I'll just, you know, get carb loaded and put on like four or five pounds of weight in two days. And the muscles will just like hypercompensate with glycogen. Like or, or I ate steroids. Whichever one is more, more likely. So all this drama from uh, EVX clip and then from Zen Lee as well going on about the the E wheels clip where they're like riding in bikinis and stuff like that with no helmets on because they're just trying to show it as casual riding you know on old wheels it's just like an old clip want to make a new clip make a new clip you know if you want to make electric unicycles a new clip about riding responsibly where you define responsible by wearing armor you know or wearing a helmet or whatever then someone else is always going to determine the amount of armor and the amount of helmet protection and head protection you know and then you know the the gear judges and the riding judges You've got the gear judges now you know you let your daughter go and ride her electric unicycle without a full face helmet and you'll get gear shamed and then eventually if your helmet doesn't have mitts you're gonna get gear shamed and then if you don't have level two armor you're gonna get gear shamed and so on and so on i mean i'm wearing full kevlar you know i'm wearing full kevlar it's not even aramid i can shame you for wearing aramid and not dupont kevlar can shame you for wearing level one gear instead of level two. I'm wearing all level two. Hip protectors, knee protectors, elbow protectors, shoulder protectors, back protector. Oh no, hold on. This is my green jacket. I only have level one on this. Damn, lucky I didn't fall. Did I mention, do you remember when Christopher fell? At 75 kilometers an hour on his Nicola? 
it's like 43, 44. He was wearing Aramid, not Kappa. He was wearing level one. And not even a back protector, but a protective backpack. He got some scratches. He felt a bit bruised the next day. Then you got someone else falling at 20 miles an hour. Bust their shoulder and arm out to help. You know, don't forget, if you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make a change. Niche, niche. Tie the wheel to yourself. Go right. Because nobody is asking to get hit in the back by a Nikola at 40 miles an hour. When the wheel goes flying and tumbling off, believe me, that Nikola, that can roll. That wheel can roll, buddy. Blah, 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 blah. It sure is nice to go out riding, though. Thank you guys for keeping me company. Hope you have a great day. Fuck you going, kid. Take your basket and fuck off. Oh, you pastries, you steroids, you. Speaking of steroids, look at all this juice. Juice, man. Get juiced. Get juiced to it. Look, iced tea. Oh, tool to the leche. That's some good stuff, man. I could just eat that with a spoon. With a spoon, man. If I only had a spoon, I'd go have a picnic. Oh, Tulta de Leche. But this is funny, because this is Tulta de Leche and this is condensed milk. There we go. Both are good. Both are good. Both are good. Put it in your ice cream. Put it in your mouth. 
Look at this. Look at this. This is not America. This is not America. Some kind of flakes, some kind of flakes, some kind of flakes, some kind of flakes. Cheerios. Oh, apple and cinnamon Cheerios. Really? Really? That I could do. That I could do. I did not know. But that's it. That's it. No, no, no lucky charms. No Count Chocula. You know, life is hell. Life is hell in this country. If you look around, you might find Pop-Tarts, but I mean, really, you know. Look at this. Kellogg's Frosties. Frosted Flakes. Frosties. Terrible. Terrible. This is it. This is all the cereal. This is all the cereal. Oh, no, hold on. They got the granola. I forgot about the granola. If you hate yourself, you just buy granola. I liked granola once. Look at this. Kellogg, all brand. And Kellogg Special K. Wow. Wow. The, the cereal in Sweden is as exciting as, as its citizens. There you go. There you go. They really like tortillas here. They like tortillas and they like pizza. It's not that, that's, it's not bad for a country of racists. I'm just kidding. Don't call them racists, they hate it. I'm the racist. Anyway. Look at the soda. They got root beer, and if you actually want to taste something, they got birch beer. Isn't life great? Three dollars a bottle. Man. Man. Trying to be inconspicuous. <laughs> Not that it matters. It doesn't matter. Man. Got a competition on Saturdays. It's called Move Out of the Way as Little as You Can. Looks like he's in the lead. Mancuso ice cream. I like ice cream. Gingerbread ice cream. Yeah. Shocked. Shocked. Ten ten dollar gelato. Better be good. I would just like, if I could find a haagen Belgian chocolate, just the Belgian, look at this, Belgian chocolate, thank you, finally. Finally, and it's not overpriced, thank you again. I've been looking for you for a few months, man. Jesus, Jesus. The dulce de leche is okay, but the salted caramel is better. And the dark salted caramel is terrible. The vanilla was okay. Thank you for the recommendation. It was vanilla. The salted caramel is great too. Strawberries and cream. I don't know. I haven't tried that in a while. Brownie macchiato. But the Belgian chocolate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And ice cream. Multi-packs. Multi-packs. Look at that. For 25 crowns. Does that mean I can buy a, a six pack of sandwiches? They got Magnum. They got sad ones. 15. Then they mean the pigoline. The ice? The ice one? I'm not gonna go suck no ice cube. 
tip tops, the twisters. I bought some twisters yesterday. I really like the sandwiches. I do like the sandwiches. The ice cream sandwich, man. Thank you very much. Dinner is served. Dinner is served. Mini almond? No. 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 There was some more exotic taste. Flavor. Some salted caramel shit, maybe. But almond? I'm nuts as it is. Favorite, but not mine. Frozen? I bet it is. And we're not even gonna pronounce that word, man. That'll start a fight. Know what I'm saying? French fries, Mars ice cream, and Snickers ice cream. Snickers ice cream is much better. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, yeah, they like their candy. You pick it yourself and put it in a bag, you know. Look at that. You pick it yourself and put it in a bag. Isn't life great? These are my favorite chips. Super sized cheese doodles. Just saying. They got the, the ones with the jalapeno flavor, but they just make me sad. So, yeah. 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 Barbecue and Coke flavored chips. Okay. 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 And since there is a God, we now have Risa's peanut butter cups in Sweden. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, America. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Butterfinger. This one I like you. Butterfinger. Very tasty. Oh, I haven't seen a whatchamacallit in a long time. Look at that. That's not rageous. Just bored of life. Chocolate covered cheese doodles. There you go. Chocolate covered peanut rings. And chocolate covered bugles. These are awesome. Awesome at Target. Look at the line, man. It's amazing. It's amazing. Welcome to the future where you scan your own ship. Scan your own ship. I got my own bag. Continue. Doctor. Doctor. 
and doctor. Continue. Continue. I'm not a member. Car. Baby. Shut up, man. Approve. Receipt. Goodbye. I got my own bag. Lazy rolling string bag. Shut up, I'm talking. They're closing in 10 minutes. That means I can buy more cheese doodles. I'm gonna sanitize my hands. Look at all this fertilizer, cow shit. There used to be a little button you can press where you could rate your experience. Would have given it a five out of five, man. It was amazing. Amazing, man. I got my belt in chocolate ice cream. It's amazing. Give you a six out of five. And I came out of the store and it's fucking dark, but it's not raining. I'll give you a seven out of five for that. Almost 11 p.m. There you go. There you go, man. This is as dark as it's gonna get. Yes. Got some nice relaxing tunes going. about to press the music some kid passes like behind my GoPro you know one millimeter away from it as, as close as he can and uh, then I start playing this really down and he looks at me like you know and I just look at him back the same way and I ask him do you like it that got uncomfortable There's a pothole Pinterest died in. Uh, let's go try it out. So th these kids, you know, that stare at you with a dead stare, you know, like with no expression in their eyes and almost like a small smile, like they're some kind of uh, ghetto kids, you know, that have seen shit. So they're like emotionally immune and don't feel fear and stuff like that. It's like, eh. I bet you're one slap away from changing that attitude. You know? But who am I to go around slapping children? That's why we have girlfriends after all. So let's go check out this giant hole, 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 hole. I, I, I wouldn't, I mean my wheel fit perfectly in there. I made a nice big splash in that wet hole. But I wouldn't want to hit it from the front. Because I'd go like... I, 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 no, no, no. 
you would you would hit it, you know, when it's at a, a decline towards you. Not good. Puddle or hole? Do not know, we'll not find out. Puddle hole. Where? Na, 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 puddle hole. And even I've been even though I've been riding on the hard mode today, I've been having a good time. I've been having a good time, man. Just playing around. Because at the end, that's what these were made for. They were made for us to have some fun on and possibly commute. Right? That's it. You don't have to. You don't have to go, go blasting all the time. Just have some fun, you know. Right, right thing at the right time. Damn, there are some big slugs out here in the ring. <laughs> great now when I was on that path before when I was like doing 60 kilometers an hour on the hard mode and this tire has this oscillation to it it also felt exaggerated in the hard mode and with the pad so with the medium mode and with just the foot lock it would have been great and uh, yeah I'll reseat the tire again 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 here's a beautiful shot for you But we're not. Children are the future. We're not. We, we've had our future, right? Let's try to adjust a bit to the times. Tire wobble intensifies. Peace, buddies. Ciao. Honey, I'm home, and I'm McFarlane. Slid out on mud, man. Slid out on mud. Damn. I'm bang my head. Jeez. On a... I slid out on mud that was on the road. So not on the road. I was on the bike path. I was on the bike path. And, uh, you know, it was like after the tunnel. And uh, when, I, when I got out of the tunnel, there was just like a big, big, big strip of mud. So I hit the mud, you know, and correcting, 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 but there was nothing to do, you know, because it's just like sliding out on mud left and right. In the end, uh, the wheel just slid out. I fell, I fell to my right, landed on my hip, landed on this elbow. The elbow guard rotated because this is a medium and I should be wearing a size small unless I wear a sweater on there, which I'm not. Landed on this finger, so it's numb, <laughs> but the worst, man, while I was sliding, I slid into a, into a curve and hit it with my forehead, and I'm like, oh my God. When I heard that, I was like, if I'm gonna get a dent in my forehead after this, I'm, I'm gonna go ballistic. So man, 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 a guy on the bicycle, behind me, you know, he like stops, he says like, oh, shit man, that looked really gnarly, are you okay? And I said, yeah, I'm okay, thanks for stopping, you know, and then he hands me the shred light that I was holding. The shred light is okay, it's okay. But this, you know, yeah, so I told Petra that I McFell, 
But you know, the guy on the bicycle, like, get your hands near the shred light. He said, yeah, you know, drop this. I'm like, cool, thanks. Uh, so when I fell down, you know, I just first I touched my forehead to make sure like there wasn't a dent or a crack or something in my skull. And then I went and I picked up the wheel and I put the wheel off the bike path. And then his, then the guy came, you know, and he's like, are you okay? I'm, all, I'm, okay. I'm okay. You know, and he's like, you know, maybe you should sit down. And, and, and I said, it's okay, you know, phone. Since I was the, I was holding the shred light here when I landed, I landed like pretty hard here. So I'm I, I'm a bit wet here from landing on the mud. My my head got a nice bump on it, right? bleeding. This part of my finger is numb. I can move it. I can move it, but it feels like I landed here. So it feels like I landed maybe with a closed hand going down. I did not hurt my wrists. Thank you. Very unusual for me to land on, on this side. My shoelaces became partially undone. I got some dirt on them, so there you go. So much for those beautiful neon green. But this is gonna this is gonna sting. Since the armor rotated. Ow my finger. Yeah. Well at least my know that it, it, it's not numb, it's more like it's pulsing. So let's see. The damage. The damage. Yeah, yeah. As I predicted, you know, as I predicted. So, this was like on the side, wearing a medium, the pad rotated out. There's no, no bone damage. I'm like, is this a hollow? Is this supposed to be there? Here, here is like, th this is no good. This is no good. That's no good. That's like a lot of, Lot of skin, skin rash. So this is this is actually from the <laughs> from the inside. So let's look here and see. This is the part that went down. So here, right? So you can see where I landed on this part, and then the elbow. So let's just rotate this for science and take a look. Oh man, my. My right shoulder took a bit of a hit as well, I can feel that. So yeah, you know, it didn't go through the through the Kevlar or anywhere here, of course. You know, but I actually got road rash <laughs> from the from the inside. But you can't get infinite road rash from the inside because you can't slide on the inside forever. You can only slide initially. Let's see here, I landed here, right, so the hip protector is here, I landed here, I can feel this. Gotta, gotta dance my way out of this, here. Yeah. <laughs> if I fall now, bang my head. So we're all good here, we're all good here, we're all good here. I could have done without the knock to the head, you know, I could have done without the knock to the head. I got unlucky, I, 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 since I was sliding on mud and I fell to the right, and the curb was on the right, then we slide into the curb, you know. Could have been avoided with a, with a helmet. My, my head did not touch the ground, <laughs> once again, my head did not touch the ground. But uh, yeah, yeah, that doing, doing this stretching motion is sort of like a tiny bit painful. So let's see here. Well, the biggest part of the hit was here. I went sliding on mud. The pants are pretty intact. I did slide here as well. 
the level 2 armor, you know, zero damage, and uh, yeah, some sliding here as well, you know, some, some kind of impact or sliding there, uh, nothing on the knees, right, and At least I'm in, I'm in full function. But could have done without the knock on the head. Again. Again. And the finger. So yeah, holding on to the shred light. And, and just like holding on to it all the way down. Eh. A bump. I already have a bump here and a bump here. So I have like horns. Right. So yeah. 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 Yeah, let's see. Any... And then you show the joints popping out. No, this one's already popping out from uh, me screwing up the shoulder. Right? So I have a floppy, floppy collarbone. Hurts. Hurts. Burns. Slight, 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 it's like a tightness, a tightness, you know, but there's a bump. Yeah, yeah. There's no problem riding back, you know, because uh, I, I haven't lost uh, confidence in the, in the wheel or myself or anything like that, you know. Okay, I accidentally touched the sensor. I thought the wheel wasn't powering on. Yeah, boy. All right, so some some scratch here. Tiny, tiny bit of scratch. Bumpers did a good job, right? The the, the wheel took a took a hit. Took a hit, man. Thanks, Clark. Thanks, thanks, Francisco. Actually, for this, right? So that that saved the wheel a ton. Some this is where I hit last time on the skate park. Rim is good. It didn't it didn't accidentally reseat the tire. Actually, not be retarded and bring it somewhere where there's light. So you can see here, right? It took like all the hit there, very little over there. So that's like entirely intact. This is mud from the other day. Is that a hit? No. How about here? There? No. The pedals are still fine. Here it's all good. It's all good. Ooh. Thought there was a crack first. You a crack? No, no. Is it, what, is, what is this? Like a little, little scratch. Oh look. Look at this. What's this? Oh, sliding on some white, white shit. Or did it power off against the wall or something? And actually, surprisingly, um, yeah, hold on, let's just examine the side of the rim as well. Oh, looking good. Looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. The trolley handle actually got a bit bent. So the handle took a hit. And uh, this part, the top part, got a bit bent. Still goes down. It goes all the way in. But there's some deformation there, so we'll see about that. Yeah. 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 
Look at you. Aren't you pretty? So yeah, there you go. How are the clock pads? Clock pads are okay. The clock pads are okay. The wheel is okay. The clothes are okay. Uh, I'll pick up my uh, my small sized green 2021 soon. Although I really like the the base gate logo. Poor little fella. Poor little fella. Liked you so much. Now you're ripped, man. Celebi.